what if you were a superhero? And who's to say that you're not? And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about tapping into your heart, living from the inside out to manifest all that you want in your life. Welcome to my channel. I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an awakening coach, an energy healer, a master certified law of attraction energy coach. So everything I do works with manifesting a life that you love. And that's my website, lovemylife.coach. So today I want to talk about your superpower, our superpower. We all have it. It's just to what degree have you expanded your consciousness to actually know it and live it? That's what we're going to tap into right here, right now. So you need to get really good at monitoring your vibration, right? Are you low, high? Are you in fear? Are you in love? So I call that the vibometer. You may have seen me speak about that in other videos, but it's really key because it is such a waste of time to get stuck in lower energies. And just, I want to bring your awareness to this knowing, I think it's a fact, that there's this group think out there that um, we've just adopted, right? We've taken it, taken it on from a young child even up until now. And it's been reinforced and reinforced and reinforced over and over again. A lot of these uh, limiting beliefs and uh, these patterns and programs that make everything feel like it has to be hard and you have to overcome and blah, 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 right? Things that dictate to you how you ought to be. Instead of just allowing your truth to come forward, um, a lot of people think they need to or have to be a certain way, you know, to be accepted or whatever that is. All of that is not connection to your divine self to that divine energy of love. So what I really want to get across with this video about your superpower of love, living from your heart, is um, I want you to start to notice it for yourself. Really paying attention to your vibration, noticing when you're really feeling good, and then sit and breathe with that and feel how your energy is expanded right? When you're really in that high vibration of love, it's like you don't even know where you end and other things begin. You just kind of blend in with everything and you're just in love with everything around you. <laughs> everything that you see, you can sense and feel the divine within that, within them, within it. This energy of love that makes up everything and all things and that is the energy that heals. Okay, so well, okay, that brings me to, that's why this is coming in. They want me to talk about how, um, like when I'm doing the work that I do, I am so in that vibration of love, so expanded, I literally don't know where I begin and where I end. I just feel this energy that is with me or, or channeling through me to who I'm working with. I feel them like they're right there in front of me. There's no distance. It doesn't matter if they're on the other side of the world. It is this energy of love that is channeling through that I am privileged to, to be able to um, sense and feel and tap into. But everybody can do that, okay? That's why this video, I want you to recognize you have the superpower, and I want you to start feeling it. So the easiest way to feel it is when you're feeling good can have the presence of mind to think, okay, I feel really great. So what is this really great feeling actually really feel like? And try to sense your energy, sense that it is reaching way far from the actual body and it's blending in with everything, okay? Get good at sensing that. Also, notice when you're in those lower vibrations, what does that feel like? Do you feel smothered, closed off, shriveled up, <laughs> right? Because it does not feel like it does when you're in that full-blown energy of love. So your job is to, we have this power of choice, right? 
doesn't matter what's going on. We can choose to be the effect of the fear-driven circumstance, or we can choose to bring love in, to not to bring it in, it's already there, but okay, yeah, to bring it in, to hold more love, to have it channel into you, to ask the light to just come in so that you can be, say, an objective observer of this situation that's going on. And then you can even ask yourself, well, what would love do in this situation, right? How would love sense this to be? So, you know, it's all about dropping into your heart, right? And seeing, seeing the fear-based or lower vibrational energy experiences, seeing them through the eyes of love. See, because then as you're making that connection and you're opening up this channel, well, guess what? Inspiration comes in, solutions come, things just magically shift. Okay, so I wanted this to be a short video, but I, I'm, I'm, I have to go on and explain how um, I'm working with this a lot lately. And really, it was kind of, I was kind of thrown into these lower energies after my sister passed away. Okay, so it's grief and you know that, but it brought up all this other stuff. And I think it was really a teaching for me to start to notice when I let the fear in and when I move out of it and into the energy of love so that I can teach that more to everyone I'm working with. And now I also want to say too that when I'm doing my healing work and I'm channeling that energy of love and I'm so expanded and it just feels so amazing, I can't hold that throughout my whole day. I don't have that um, in my everyday stuff that I'm doing. I can, but I don't because I am still working with it. So I know that feeling and I can more and more bring it into any situation, especially those hard times, which I've been doing a lot lately. Like something will show up. One particular pattern repeated itself three times now throughout my history. It's like, why is that still coming up? Right? Because now I can look at that thing step away from the fear into the love. And guess what? Solutions come. I'm not even having to figure them out. They're just there. They're just showing up. So I talk, you know, sometimes about the ego and the soul, right? So the ego being the more fear-based um, thoughts, uh, energies that you get stuck into, and love, of course, the inspiration that wants to flow through, just being in the flow of all that is, allowing for your superpower to actually be expressed. I've been working with that a lot lately, and I'm sure I'm probably going to be doing a lot more videos on this, but I just got a hit today to send this message out about um, this ability that we all have, maybe teasing you with it as a superpower, but truly that's what I feel it is. It's a freaking superpower. Are you going to allow it or not? You have it. You have it. So why don't you um, even repeat that to yourself? I have the superpower of love. You know, and I wasn't even watching. I think my head's chopped off of this whole video, but what a, it is what it is, right? Messages coming through, sending it to you. Um, I hope that with all these words, I got to that point that you have a superpower. Your superpower is love. You have the ability to choose at any time to move out of fear and into love, to have magic come into your life so that you can really create the life that you want. It could be that simple. <laughs> That's all for now. I wish you much love and I would love for you to uh, subscribe, like, share, comment below about anything I said today that resonated with you. Are you able to Feel yourself make that expansion into that energy of love, you know, where you just don't even know where you end anymore. You're just a part of everything. Have you had that experience? If so, I'd love for you to share it below so that other people can read these stories and say, wow, I mean, I, the way I look at it, if I can do it, you could do it, right? We all can do it. I'll see you on another video.